What if I told you that it was possible for someone who is dreaming right now and someone who is awake right now to have a conversation in real time with each other despite them both being in completely different states of consciousness? Yes, the answer to the title is that someone can in fact talk to you while you're dreaming. So to establish how this is done and how we know this is possible, we have to look at how it is that we can verify in a lab setting that lucid dreaming is a real experience. And it all starts with how our body works during dreams. You see, when you have dreams in REM sleep, your body experiences something known as REM atonia, and that is basically a full body paralysis. That's why when you have something like sleep paralysis, you experience your body being paralyzed because you are actually in REM and experiencing that REM atonia. Having this happen during our dreams is great because it prevents us from say, you know, getting up out of bed and running into a wall because we're running in a dream. With our body paralyzed, when we try to act things out in a dream, our real world muscles and body don't move. But there is actually one little loophole to REM atonia. There is one part of your body that is not frozen in place, and that is your eyes. You see, REM itself stands for rapid eye movement sleep, and that is because the one part of you that isn't paralyzed is your eyes. So if someone looks at you while you're actually having dreams and in REM sleep and they study your eyes, they can see that your eyes are moving about as you're looking around in your dream. Now, early lucid dreaming researchers like Stephen LaVerge and Keith Hearn realized that this was an opportunity to prove that lucid dreams were real. After all, you could get someone to have a lucid dream and then signal to the researcher that they were lucid right now using their eyes. So they did exactly that. They ran experiments where they got the person who was lucid to perform a series of particular eye movements to confirm that they're in fact dreaming now. Sure enough, it worked and we were able to get conclusive evidence that lucid dreaming is real. Now, you might already be able to figure out where I'm going with this. Recently, researchers decided to take this a step further and see if communication was possible both ways. You see, with those early experiments, just trying to prove that lucid dreaming was real, the only thing that was needed was for the dreamer to signal something to the researcher. Communication didn't need to go both ways. But could it? Could it actually go from researcher to dreamer as well? Well, in this recent study, that's exactly what they tried to find out. They essentially would ask the dreamer questions by speaking them aloud to the dreamer while they're in a dream and get them to signal back their answers. They asked them simple questions like say eight minus two and got them to respond with a series of eye movements. Now, many of the participants in this experiment didn't actually get lucid in the first place and didn't experience the researchers telling them anything so they weren't able to respond. In some cases, they did experience what the researcher was telling them but not directly as spoken words. It just influenced the dream in some way, or it came as some kind of distant disembodied voice that they could perhaps only partly understand. But in many of these instances, the dreamer heard the researcher quite clearly and actually was able to respond and answer the question correctly, proving that it is in fact possible to get communication going both ways. Now, obviously, as we've seen from this study, it isn't necessarily easy or guaranteed. Many of these people never got the message or the message was distorted in some way that made it hard to understand. But I think it would be stupid to dismiss just how monumental this study really is for the world of lucid dreaming. Now, we've sort of understood this before. If you put on some headphones while you're dreaming and play a message for yourself, you can sometimes hear it in the dream. You can actually use this as a cue to get lucid even. But understanding that we can have this two-way communication means that we can actually do some experiments with this. For example, if you sleep with a partner, what about using your partner as a lucid dreaming tool? Actually getting them to wake up when you're in REM by say an alarm set on their wristband that just wakes them up with a gentle vibration and then getting them to gently guide you into a lucid dream by calmly explaining to you that you're dreaming right now. This is a lot less intrusive than having to sleep with headphones in. But I think where this gets most exciting is what we'll be able to do with this in the lab where we're able to monitor someone's eye movements easily because that means we can actually do all sorts of experiments on the fly. We can, for example, guide someone through an experiment where they try out different dream control techniques and see what works best in that moment. We can try and use external prompts to influence the nature of a person's dream and then get them to respond and let us know which of those prompts have actually worked. So for example, you could have an experiment where a researcher is describing a location to the person and telling them to imagine it and getting them to respond to see if their actual dream scenery changed in response to this description. And what about actually seeing if this worked as a tool to improve dream control? After all, 
Dream control relies a lot on your subconscious beliefs. If you subconsciously believe that you're able to do something, then you usually are. But what if you don't believe you can do something? What if you want to fly in a lucid dream and you just don't believe that you can do it and you've tried every method out there and nothing works? Well, what if someone was there actually guiding you in that dream and narrating your dream and telling you that now you have the ability to fly? Wouldn't that be just a bit more believable to your subconscious than you trying to tell yourself that? if someone else is actually doing it for you? Well, how cool would it be if you had access to Wikipedia or Google in a lucid dream? What if you could get someone to essentially whisper in your ear and tell you some of these things that might be useful to you to know in a dream? Like, let's say you wanted to visit a planet in outer space, and obviously you've never been to that planet in waking life. But what if you had someone describing it to you based on the Wikipedia page or based on an article that describes the properties of the planet, exactly what the texture of the ground is like, what color it is and everything like that, so that you're essentially building this more vivid image of the actual place that you can't visit in the real world. Normally the only way to do something like that is to actually go read all this information and memorize it as best as you can before you go to bed in the hopes that the experience will be more lifelike afterwards. With the ability to have someone giving you this information on the fly, you can go a lot further with it. Not to mention that in a lab setting where you can actually respond back using your eyes, you could even potentially come up with some ways to prompt the researcher for specific information based on predefined signals that you would give them with your eyes. If you're able to stay in the dreams long enough and keep them stable, to actually be able to do this, you could even come up with a rudimentary way of communicating in the English language, perhaps using something like Morse code. So what about you guys? What opportunities do you think that this could unlock for us as lucid dreamers? What would you like to do if you had someone narrating an experience for you while you're actually there in the dream? What would you have them tell you or what pieces of information would you have them give you? And what about if you could communicate back what would it be useful to be able to communicate out of those dreams with other people? Let me know your thoughts down below. But I don't know about you, I'm super excited about this because I feel like this is a way that science can finally take a look inside those dreams a little bit. It's not as good as having a camera and, you know, seeing inside someone's actual inner thoughts and being able to actually visualize and record all of that information and see that experience for yourself, something that we might be a while off from doing, but it certainly is a way to glimpse inside our dreams in a scientific controlled manner. Now, if you're trying to lucid dream for yourself or trying to get better at it and take it to the next level, I highly recommend checking out my book, The Lucid Dream Book. There'll be a link to it in the top right hand corner or down in the description below. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure you subscribe and enable all notifications so you can stay up to date when my new videos come out. And if you want to keep watching right now, check out one of those videos on screen. Go watch that and I'll see you there soon. Take care.